my niggas with the game plan. And shout outs on my niggas with escape plans. Uh, 20 bands, rain dance. We can eat the rain check or we can make plans. So where's Mr. Featuring and today welcome back to another YouTube video on the Abstract channel and today we have an insane gameplay by Nuclear on Black Ops 4 with him going 68 to 11 on the map Seaside in a 2 mod. He's using the MX-9 but I'm not sure within the last couple of days of the beta it had been patched or not because it didn't really seem to be as powerful as Friday and Saturday but then again that could be me but anyway Nuclear's class for this gameplay was simply the MX-9 with the reflex sight. That's it. The rest of the class came from when you unlock creator class, in my eyes that makes it a ton better, but the MX-9 was one of the most powerful weapons on BO4, for sure, before the level cap was increased and everyone was a low level. That's Nuclear's class, but let's go into another class that is the best to get Nuclear's with the MX-9, and it's Shock Horror the MX-9, with Rapid Fire Advanced Mags and High Calibre, the Stim Shot, and the perks of Scavenger, Dexterity and Ghost. The Rapid Fire on the MX-9 is crazy, you see a very big difference as it just shreds through people, I've seen when using it. And the overpowered armor thing that's in the game, it also shreds through that, and if you play Xbox completely, there's a heads up for you. Armor is annoying as hell, although there's supposed to be a patch this weekend for the beta coming up, it should be nerfed quite a lot, so I guess it'll be pretty balanced for you Xbox people. Advanced mags, I can't remember if it makes you reload quicker or anything, but if it doesn't, then it just adds 5 bullets which, thinking about it now, it just doesn't make sense, so it has to do something like that, but at the minute I can't remember, it could do anything for all I know. And High Caliber, I feel like with the new health system in Black Ops 4, this is a simply a must, because sometimes it takes half a year to kill a guy or it could just take a second, so if you've had this attachment, you'll see a lot more consistency with damage. And let's be honest, with the health increase from past cards, we're going to need every ounce of extra damage we can get. That's it for the classes. I just want to get into my current thoughts and opinions on Black Ops 4 after the first weekend. So I'm going to go through the things that I really like first, then go into the things I hate or at least I don't like. So I like how all the specialists are all balanced in their own way, disregarding how annoying they are. And I enjoyed using every single specialist in this game so far. However, I do feel like two need a little bit of a nerf. One definitely being the Tempest. That specialist is fun to use when you're the one using it and you know how to use it because the thing's broken, it's so annoying. And when you crawl on the floor, I don't understand what's the point of that. I don't know if you can get back up after being laid down and being electrocuted and that little twitch drawn thing that stops you moving and aiming, that could use a little more toning down. At the moment, I think it's like five to seven seconds you stay still for. I think they should tone that down quite a bit to maybe like 2-4 to four seconds. Also Nomad, I don't know why the dog can run faster than any sports car or why that thing can jump higher than a 7 year old that's just drank 5 cans of Red Bull in 5 minutes. That is the only thing I've really noticed that needs to fix in the specialists. That was a bit mixed, but I also like how it's not slow. I love the pace of the game because some cars were very slow paced when it was boots on the ground, but this is perfect in my opinion. And I can't lie, the new thing where you heal using LB or L1, that hasn't been a problem. I really thought that it would be a lot harder to get used to, but no, it was easy to catch onto. I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit worried when I heard 5e5 was in this game. I thought it would be slow because of that, and I was so wrong. It just feels like any other COD game in terms of pace, just with two less people. I know that might not sound like a lot of things to like, but let's go into the things that I don't like, or I think needs to be nerfed. So the dog from Nomad again, that thing is annoying, I don't understand how that works, but I'm pretty sure most people are annoyed about this dog, and I'm 100% sure that will get a nerf this weekend. I don't really like how inconsistent the killing time can be. One minute you can be deleting people instantly, and then it could take you half a year to kill the next person. I don't understand how that works. Like, the health isn't a problem for me, however, I just don't get how that adds up. By the time you see this, this won't be a thing in the next weekend for the beta, or at least I hope so. But the tag deploy in Search and Destroy, where you can respawn after getting killed in a non-respawn game mode. I mean, to be fair, it's only the beta, but come on, you've been making search and destroy game modes for the past 11 years, surely you know how that works. The score streaks are really weak, I mean, can you imagine taking time to get an attack chopper for only for it to shoot peas at people? And when I used it, it was so terrible. I didn't kill anyone, and saying that, the strike team isn't much better. They have the mind of a recruit bot and not worth the 1300 points. I just hope the two Aria ones are godly, honestly, but again, it's just the beta, so. Overall, I think the gameplay was very solid, and I definitely will be buying this game after the first weekend of the beta. And I know this is going to be a good year. I haven't had this much fun on COD since probably Black Ops 2, maybe Advanced Warfare. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please go down and leave a like, as it helps us out a lot. If you're new around here and like we see, press that red subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. That's all from me, and yeah, I'm Mr. Feed signing out. Peace.